The day of at is the eighth day of the Hijjah and it begins the actions of Hajj. It is called this because they drink from the water in it continuously until the day of Arafah and it was said from other than it. So when the time of sunrise enters on the day of at the Mutamatu makes Ihram from Umrah to Hajj from the place he is going to. So he makes Ghusl and purifies and prays the Sunnah of the Wudu. And where they are Qarin, making Hajj Qiran, or Mufrid, making Hajj Mufrid, they stay upon the first Ihram. And for the pilgrim who wants Hajj, he says, Labbayka Hajjan. So what if he is doing Hajj on behalf of someone else? He says, Labbayk Allahumma for some and so. Then making lots of talbiyah is legislated by saying, Labbayk Allahumma labbayk, labbayk la sharika laka labbayk, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak. And for all, it is a condition with the ihram if they fear being prevented from completing hajj. So they say, O oh Allah, this place is where you have restricted me. Allahumma mahalli haythu habastani. And if not, then they don't make a condition. And the benefit of making a condition is that when something happens which prevents someone from completing their hajj, they can release themselves from their ihram and go back to their people. And there is nothing upon them. And it isn't from the sunnah that a person goes to Masjid al-Haram or other mosques and makes ihram from it. For in the hadith of Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered us to put on our ihram again as we proceeded towards Mina after we had put it off. So we proceeded to Tanbiya at al abdah because it is the place where they have stopped. Then the Sunnah is to leave to Mina before Dhuhr. Then they pray Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, and Fajr at their times, shortened but not combined, until Maghrib and Fajr, because they aren't shortened. On the authority of Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them both, who said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed two rak'at at Mina, Abi Bakr, Umar, and Uthman followed the same practice.